Justin's watching. Hi, Aunt Susan. We're trying to get the cool kids to watch. Yep. Tell your friends. <laughs> Share with others. We are live. <sighs> Full effect. I don't know what I'm going, <laughs> going with there. <laughs> so we're kind of shooting from the hip this week. Yeah, I still can't get it on my real All customer right. page, but whatever. It's on my page. Um, I guess it would help if I got Mr. Poole involved in it. Uh, uh, uh. The guy can't even fish right. <laughs> but you got one fish that made him for the rest of it. <laughs> That's right. What's up, Dad? Okay. I forgot to tag you, so we're going to tag you real quick. Tag! And then we're going to get started here. I'm just trying to let people join in. I ate too much dinner. I even ate dinner. I was too busy painting uh, and everything else today. So yeah. Trying to get caught up on stuff. I got a big order. 74 lures. Miller, what's up? So yeah, uh, we've been uh, fishing. Oh yeah. I hammered them last week and I haven't caught crap this week. <laughs> been out three times, got skunked. Yeah. Uh, Chris here has been tearing it up this week. And yeah, got, not and, one day. And yeah. got his PB, right? It could have been. Could've it been. very well could have been. I, I would, I uh, know one year. Yeah, you know what? It probably was. It was five to six pounds. Yeah. And I literally walked over the hill with a scale, and he <laughs> had just released it, so yeah. we did not get a weight on. <laughs> it was that close. Yes, that close. So, yeah. And so then I went out today to try uh, try my hand at it again and threw my pole in the water. So, and you broke one a couple, well, was about three weeks ago, four yeah, weeks ago? Yeah, broke the tip on one a couple yeah. weeks ago, a few weeks ago, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a struggle. But I still have my lure, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to tell that story, too, because <laughs> there's pictures of it, so. Yeah, yeah, so. I wish I would have got on video, but I was too busy trying to help. And I didn't oh, yeah, up. yeah. Yes. Uh, th today I was actually fishing. The other day, uh, after I caught my PB, a couple casts later, uh, I got another bite, and it took off. And between the two of us, we figured out that it was it had wedged itself underneath the tree. And I wasn't losing that lure, so I got in the water to go get it. <laughs> Got up to about uh, middle of my stomach and then broke the line, but was able to keep a hold of the line. And so I passed the line to, to Jeremy on the dock and then I clammed out of the water and... Just the tip. Yep, just the tip. <laughs> oh, and, we're giving you a tip here. That's never right. give up. <laughs> Don't ever give up. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yep. Um, got the... Fish and the lure. Got the fish. Oh, that's right. I thought, yeah, we thought it, the fish was off and then it was stuck on the tree. So I was, I just threw my gloves on to break the line and I gave it a, a little tug and bing. Here came the fish and the lure. And the fish was not worth it. <laughs> eh, it kind of was. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> like you would have been stuck on a lure for a long time. <laughs> like, gosh that's darn right. it. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So... Yeah, it's been been good. Yeah, chair squeaky again. Yeah, you know that's what happens when it sits for a while. And uh, we're back. That's um, right. We were supposed to do a giveaway today. I have not heard from John yet. Um, but in another sense, uh, we didn't get any submissions or nominations. But yeah, we, local, local. Nobody could read <laughs> the instructions. <laughs> yeah, we got like. <laughs> Half a dozen, no, more than that. Yeah. Uh, people that wanted to be part of the giveaway, but they live out of town. And since we're, well, John was putting in a baitcaster rod and reel, that's really expensive to ship. And just the weight of everything, because there was a big old tackle bag with cases and yeah. just everything. Not one person. Not one person, even after us promoting it and everything, got involved. 
So why John figures out what he's gonna do with that, we're gonna do something ourselves. We're gonna fill this up. And this is just stuff I threw in real quick. I even got through, I, I'm gonna throw some of my painted lures in here. You know, and we we don't expect a lot. We just we just want you to say who you want to nominate and why. Why are the, why do they deserve this? You right. know, right. do they you know change your diapers, uh, Sean? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Do they uh, mow the lawn without asking? You know, don't have to be a kid. You know, I'm gonna open right. this up for everybody. Right. You know. Maybe you don't have the money to go out and take your kids fishing and, you know, it's like, well, this is something I want to do. So we're going to open up this for anybody, anywhere. We're just going to do it. Uh, we've been talking about it for a while and I got more than enough stuff. Right. Um, well, I don't know if you have enough, but I got enough. So we're just going to get everybody involved on this one. The cause? He's catching up to us because there's a delay on the lives. So keep up. Oh, so man. when I said change his diapers, you know, this is like twice this week I got him with something. So. <laughs> Sean's uh, healing up from another surgery, so he's half robot. And uh, we, wish him, uh, we wish him uh, a speedy recovery because he yep. wants to go out and fish with us. So Sweet. And yeah. we're going to need somebody to barbecue. So hurry up. Yep. Quit hurting yourself. We're going to barbecue up some um, frog legs and turtles. Probably not, but... <laughs> Bullfrogs ain't in season. This happened in Nebraska. Hey! All we got to right. wait till August for that. If you're from Nebraska, do you feel like you should know what a cinnamon roll is? If this is going to relate to uh, dipping it in chili... No. Okay. I just want... Uh, I, because chili... Along those lines, chili and cinnamon roll seems to be a, like a Nebraska thing. Yeah. Um, so would you say you know you should know what a cinnamon roll is? Yeah. Okay. So if I have cinnamon rolls to sell, and you walk in and you ask me what the bread stuff is with frosting on it, and I say, it's a cinnamon roll. Do you feel like you should say, what's a cinnamon roll? On a serious note, who's Anthony Miller? Um, Sean's last name is Miller, so it's... Yeah. Did we miss something? Hold on. Oh. On a serious note. I want to say it's a family member. But it, yeah. <laughs> Just anybody, you know. Right. Whoever anybody. deserves it, you know. So, just send us a name. A quick uh, nephew. Okay. Um, oh, nephew. Okay. I think you bought some lures for me from me for him, right? If I'm not mistaken, and it didn't turn out. You guys went fishing that weekend, but anyways, you know, yeah, we just want to get people outdoors. You know. Yeah. Uh, I took uh, Liam to Shram State Park yesterday. Oh yeah, and uh, checked out the aquarium since they redid it all, and uh, it was pretty cool. Good. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was five bucks to get in, and they didn't charge me for him. So but, nice. Yeah, we okay. did that. Fed the. We tried to feed the fish, but the geese uh, were a little more assertive, <laughs> and chasing us, hissing at us. <laughs> but they wanted food. Yeah, they're um, hungry. And then there was a park there. We let them play. So. So get out. Get out. That's, Enjoy that's this what, weather. That's right. Know? That's right. There's time to spend some time outdoors. Yep. Absolutely. And there's been a lot of stuff going on. We lost some good people. Uh, and yep. Quite a few people, actually. And yeah. Unfortunately, I should say. And uh, we won't go into details, but or who or what. Because we there's a couple of this past week, so. But... Real close friends and family. Uh, our best wishes to family and friends and all of those. And if you need anybody to reach out to, talk to, we're here for you. 
Absolutely. And uh, another one is, uh, we'll probably do a show on it, uh, uh, suicide prevention. If you're struggling, uh, reach out. There's people that love you. You may not get told that every day. And uh, that's unfortunate, but crazy life and stuff like that gets, it gets crazy and you don't, you don't hear it as much as you should. So again, we're here for you. There's other people here for you. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a show about that. Yeah. And kind of shifting gears uh, about going back out. And we're gonna do a, a special live. We're gonna pick a lake, have people come out and fish with us, you know. We'll get some worms, some hooks, you know. Right. Just, just bring a rod and reel. We might have a few for you. Uh, I got some older ones, but let's go fishing. Yep. Let's get a group together. Social distance. There's plenty of space at the lake, but uh, let's do it. So look forward to that. Uh, we'll wait. All right, we got some things coming up, but we will plan in time. And then uh, in May, there's going to be a thing at Ponca where it's free park admission, free. You don't have to have a fishing license. Oh. And uh, I'm going to be giving some stuff away f for that as well. Um, and this is put on by Game and Parks. So. Uh, look forward to that too. So a lot of stuff going on. Drown some right. worms. Drown some worms. That's right. And I know I said we got some, <laughs> a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Uh, we got some special guests that said they'll join us. Yet yeah, things happen. We haven't had a chance to schedule them. Uh, so hopefully we get that all scheduled and going soon. That's right. And so. back to. <clears throat> I bet I have. 20 to 25 bobbers that I pick up out of the lake. Mm -hmm. I do the same thing. And I understand, you know, that, you know, things get caught on stuff. They get caught out in the middle of the lake or they get caught on a tree. But that, that uh, container that your fish were in, that worms. aluminum can, oh yeah, that your worms were in, that aluminum can you were drinking out of, that sandwich bag that had your sandwich in it, it doesn't belong anywhere near the lake or on the ground. Take it in, you take it out. It, there is so much trash already around a lot of these lakes of people that just don't care. So, I mean, I know Jeremy and I both, uh, most of the time we have a trash bag with us that we do, when we're out fishing we collect the trash, but there's no reason why we can go to the same lake one week um, apart and come back with the same size trash bag full. Yeah, so that's terrible. It, pick up your trash, and if you see trash, pick it up. Pick it up. I understand there's some stuff you might not want to pick up, um, but do your best to, to clean it up, okay? So that brings up, you know... That, that could be another thing, too, when we do the fishing thing. Maybe we all take, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, just walk and clean up some bank or something. Right. Or we'll just do a whole other thing and, you know, right. maybe, maybe we'll do another giveaway. I don't know. That's right. I got, I got money to throw away. <laughs> I don't, but, but you know, yeah. I, I'm willing to do something like that. And I, I think, uh, yeah, we'll talk to some people and we'll see what we can make happen. Maybe we get some donations or something. Right, right. So let us know what you think about that. Um, man, I'm liking this. Yeah. We're, we're, we're kicking off good, I think. Yeah. So. All right. So, yeah, don't you know, don't forget the giveaway that uh, Jeremy was uh, talking about a few minutes ago. This is, this, is how you, <laughs> this is how you nominate somebody, okay? You give us their name, why they deserve to... Be picked. You could just, you could just say they're good and happy all the time. That's all we want. There you go. But you can't say, uh, like I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just comment. I nominate Jeremy. And that be, the last, the last time we hear from me is me saying I nominate. Ricky's Jeremy. bringing the trash truck. He, <laughs> yes. He works for Abe, so he can't. There you do go. That. Bring the trash truck, Ricky. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Uh, if you missed it, there's also more. Cow.
That's how we're going to do it every time I wear it. So I hope I didn't blow out your speakers there. Because I know you're probably watching this on the big screen. That's right. I, I wouldn't That's be too right. pleased to watch it. But, yeah. 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 So, and like Jeremy said, it's not, we don't need something fancy. You don't, uh, she's a single mother of 24 kids and she's working two jobs. She doesn't have time to fish. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't, you can, you can just be, <laughs> he's getting us in trouble. So, she absolutely has time to fish, okay? But yeah, it doesn't matter what the, what the reasoning is. So all 24 kids, clean the house and let your mom go fishing. There you go. Yeah. Do you know somebody with 24 kids? Um, I'm sure they're, what's that TV show? 24 and me, or I don't know. There's something like that. Mm. <laughs> Maybe that's the DNA testing thing. Maybe. <laughs> Can't he? <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't been able to catch fish lately, so maybe I'm the special friend. Um, yeah. All right, Ricky, we're on, uh, we, you know, the only reason you right now have, have the biggest fish caught this year is because I didn't get to weigh mine. <laughs> Jeremy's too slow. <laughs> and Ricky lives in the shoe. The, the, the single mom. Oh, yeah. You single know, mom. The fair in a shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. What else do we got? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, da, 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 da. Who's mowed their lawn already? The worst time of year. Yeah. Takes away from the fishing. Um. So yeah, uh, yeah, I, I mowed. I mowed too. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Um. Anybody wants to come on my lawn? Uh, <laughs> I can't give away <laughs> more stuff because. Uh, probably gave away too much already. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, what? I was going to say something. I completely lost it. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, I almost burned my grill down. Oh, yeah, and the house. I'm just a grill. If your grill would have, well, that's okay. We'll give it. So, uh, let's hear your, uh, grilling. <laughs> Failures. Uh, I had a grease fire going my. <laughs> I did a bunch of uh, twelve burgers. Yeah, with and a bacon bunch of and cheddar. And a bunch of hot dogs, right? And a bunch of hot dogs, Nathan ones, because they're extra greasy. Twenty four of those, and yeah, that's a lot to do at once. Break it up and <laughs> take your time, because <laughs> then you get to come flying out of the house while the neighbors in the backyard playing with the dog, and he come and you. <laughs> And he comes flying out of the house with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Go on fire! We dumped a box of baking soda on and it did not help. <laughs> so yes, the fire extinguisher was used. And then yeah. later on, the said neighbor <laughs> was out with his fire pit and I offered to use my fire extinguisher. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, the fun we have. That's right. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? Thanks for joining. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> when you're cooking for your family, do not burn your house down, especially on Easter. Oh, that's right. It was Easter. We <laughs> did that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> burning bush. I got your burning deck right here. <laughs> What's funny is uh, my brother's name. Not funny. But my brother's neighbor had a fire pit, and they thought they had the coals put out and put it in the trash can. <laughs> His neighbor's house caught on fire the same day. So, <laughs> Wait, the same day your grill caught on fire? Christina says, I, I don't use a grill, but I did start the microwave on fire. <laughs> did uh, you put, uh, what is it, tin foil in there? Is that what happened? Uh, this is just why Sean, Sean cooks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. <sighs> oh, yeah. That, that's some good beer, Jake. Oh. oh I'm ready for it. Is it available? Oh, no. Uh, Spotted Cow is going to be available up where we are. We'll have to get some of that. 
when we go up to Minnesota. Shower to, I can't even say the accent, but I'm gonna learn it in like Soda. a couple days. Minnesota. So I'm gonna come back and yeah. So to give you away in the big. What do you call it? Minna pop? <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst joke of the night. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Night's young. Nope, bread. <laughs> you started the microwave on fire by making bread? Or no nope, <laughs> bread? <laughs> we love you, Christina. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, she's a nurse. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> she is in charge of your health. <laughs> Again. <laughs> this is why Sean has 32 <laughs> surgeries. <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> Can't dry bread in the microwave. Why are you trying to dry hmm. bread? Welcome, Tyler. I'm trying to dry it out to make... I don't know what that is. Uh, Sounds good. good. <laughs> So, I don't know what it is. It sounds good. Dry bread. <laughs> it's dry bread. Croutons. <laughs> Croutons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So, those just joining, we're going to do a giveaway. Yep. Uh, we were supposed to announce one tonight, but that's kind of up in air because we didn't get any nominations. And we just contributed that uh, giveaway, so we'll wait and see what... Uh, Part-time Fisher wants to do with that, so. Yo. But we're doing our own because we had a lot of people from out of town contacting us that can't read the, or couldn't, couldn't read the rules. Didn't, well, refused. Correct, so, we felt bad because some of them seemed like they were sincere about it and they wanted to pay shipping and whatever else and we said, ah, I would love to, but that's not the rules. But we will, we will get you hooked up. Yep. Um, no, Jake, it's not a Shimano uh, SLX reel, uh, unless you want to buy pay it, for it. contribute it. I will give it away all day long to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn it, nobody not got nominated again. Yeah. What are we going to do with this stuff? <laughs> yeah. So a while back, uh, Jeremy brought up uh, um, the ideas of trying to figure out ways to collect donations and stuff like that. Um, we haven't thrown that idea out of the, out of the, uh, what's the word? Park? Out of the park yet? <laughs> I don't know. We'll go with that. Because we would really like, uh, when we have these special, you know, events where we ha ha tell everybody where we're going to be and they come on out and come fishing, it'd be great if we had those donations that we could purchase a, a box or a lure or a couple lures from other places and you guys fish with them when we have these live shows from on location, we'll, we'll call it. So if you guys have any ideas on how we can uh, collect donations or anything like that, put towards fishing stuff, um, grilling stuff we will share what we get and we will make sure it all goes to somebody right exactly we're not keeping it so we just want to provide content for you guys because right. sometimes we lack content well i i do i don't even know what content is chris is a full book of everything <laughs> <laughs> i do want to try this uh jorgensen christmas delicious apple treat Oh, it has cool whip on it. Um, maybe we'll use the convection oven that's sitting over there instead of a microwave. Um, yeah. I think that would toast it up or toast. dry it out. Toast it. Toast it. Work. And if so. not, uh, Jeremy has found out that his uh, fire extinguisher is charged. So um, we, No, not anymore. You used the whole bottle? Well, I don't... Well, it was a big fire, Chris. Okay. I'll get another one. <laughs> Um, Christina, if you need a toaster oven, I got two out here. So, uh, if you want to dry some bread and make some uh, delicious apple kai, I think is what it was yep. called. I, I don't know how to say the other word, so we're just going to go with apple kai. With dried hamburger, buns, applesauce, and cool whip. 
I'm not a big fan of Cool Whip, but I'm down to try this. And uh, if Sean brings the apple pie to wash it down, I'm good with that too. Trees get punched. I mean... Yes. So, uh, mad uh, props to uh, Christina for being a nurse and taking care of me when I punched a tree. And her Lexus for having a first aid kit that wrapped my hand. So, Whoa! Yeah. No. What delay are his questions is he answered? Because I said apple pie. Apple pie? Apple pie. Moonshine stuff that he makes. Oh. To, to wash it down. Oh. <laughs> I snuck that in there. Apple pie to wash down the apple pie. That's all right, Sean. I can't drink right now anyways. But I heard you like eating cement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was some gross yogurt. So... We won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, uh, when you try to eat yogurt to help your stomach for your medicine, make sure you get the kind that's good. <laughs> oh no, on the toaster oven. <laughs> Got it. Um, we'll set it up outside. Yeah. And you can use it out there. <laughs> Boy. He He's really trying. doesn't want. <laughs> Maybe before you get in the new house. <laughs> Is the microwave? Did the microwave survive the fire? Cause the grill did. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's coming across. More details like coming soon. The microwave and maybe the countertops didn't survive. Have you had any uh, gr grilling mishaps? Besides Oops. dropping a hot dog or a hot hamburger. Yes. Uh, oh, and, and I sent my hair's coming back too, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. <clears throat> we had one of those, I don't know, Coleman stoves. Okay. okay. And we were living in Millard and it caught on fire, and I saw <laughs> the flames starting to head towards the canister. So I had to pick up Lisa, scoop Lisa up. I, props to her for not beating me up because she didn't know what was going on just scooped her up and ran away um and then got the hose out started hosing everything down so yeah uh much like yours yeah yeah uh i was quick enough to think to shut off the gas and disconnect the bottle yeah but uh there was a my mom had one of those propane smokers and uh they were smoking some stuff, and uh, the hose popped off, and it was spraying flames everywhere, Whoa. like a flamethrower. And she was brave enough to go up and shut the gas off <laughs> before it burned down her deck. <laughs> so, the moral of the story is: do not keep your stuff near your house or on your deck. And I think we should all know that, but uh, mine's still on the deck. Yeah, well, There's deck only learns this for. <laughs> <laughs> we really need a hailstorm because my dad... Jerry, if you're watching, <laughs> <laughs> that's my insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I'm covered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on the neighbor. But hi, <laughs> this just okay. This just in. <laughs> this just in to my brain. Okay, I heard this story. And we're talking about insurance and insurance fraud. So here we go. Okay. So this lawyer bought this pack, this big box of cigars, very expensive cigars. Okay. And he insured, so he decided he was going to insure them against fire. The insurance company gave him a policy on fire for his cigars. So, after he smoked all 24, he filed 24 oh, claims uh, against his insurance policy. The insurance comp policy said, or company said, we're not going to pay you on these. You obviously smoked them. So, he sued the insurance company. <laughs> the judge said, while I agree with the insurance company that you obviously smoked these they decided they were going to cover them with a policy so i fine for you so he got seventy five thousand dollars 
right? From the insurance company. <laughs> Here's the kicker. The day that he cashed the, the, the check, the insurance company had him arrested for 24 counts of arson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That sounds like a dad joke or something, like somewhere in there. I wish it was. Like, I was going to tell a joke, but I'm afraid I would butcher it. The stakes were too high. <laughs> I heard that commercial the other day, by the way. So, Christina said, Matthew walked in and saw a flame shooting out of it. Luckily, we had a fire extinguisher. Uh, the kitchen was a disaster, and I got a new microwave for Christmas that year, which was, uh, you know, and they also updated their insurance policy. That's yes, nice they do. <laughs> The bread was dry, and <laughs> and uh, Allie's uh, hot dogs on my grill were definitely dark like she wanted them. <laughs> Just not edible. <laughs> like beef jerky. Oh. <laughs> if you're turning hot dogs in the jerky. Like <laughs> some. Hey, that's how they make pork rinds. Not really. Uh, we just had this conversation the other day, man. Cat, they are disgusting. She said they're good. I said they're disgusting. Pork rinds? And she goes, no, you use them to, you know, crumble them up and you fry it on stuff. I'm like, disgusting. <laughs> no. But, yeah, it's part of the keto thing. But... Oh, pork rinds are a keto thing? Uh, if you crush them up and then fry stuff with oh. them. Oh, or... like the... Okay. Yeah, I've heard of people like chopping up chicken <clears throat> and making a pizza crust with it. I did do the TikTok uh, rolled uh, bacon thing, where you roll bacon up, okay, and then you bake it in the oven, and it gets crispy, and it's like a stick of bacon. That's really good. That sounds good. <laughs> Anything with bacon, but is it's good. bacon, as long as it's cooked and not <laughs> not flame broiled. <laughs> Burger King don't have shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> then that, and, and Allie wanted it her way. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been a while since gears are starting to turn. Yeah, we're right. losing cus or, uh, <laughs> yeah, customers. We're right back we're on. We're losing it. customers. We're right back on Jeez. track. <laughs> Did you see this shirt? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's real for you, right there. Yep. No, really, it is real. <laughs> or real. Sorry, I can't even speak. Hope you're entertained. Oh, we got people back. <laughs> yeah. I like felt that <laughs> energy. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the Yankees haven't been this far in last place since 1998. You know what happened in 1998? He, the Sox didn't win the series then either, so it really doesn't matter to me um, what the Yankees' record is right now. One of the Maltby crew guys probably overdosed. <laughs> Did the drummer from Def Leppard lost his arm? <laughs> At least that's what the Bloodhound Gang said. I saw something the other day. It says if you're uh, air drumming to Def Leppard and you're using both your hands, that's just not fair. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh. Wrong court. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is what uh, lack of sleep. And yes, <laughs> food. Oh, doesn't get. still have more trophies. Ah, uh, you know what? I was oh. I at first I would liked Ricky. Well, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, you screwed that up in five words and a hashtag. Shiloh just uh, gained a friend. <laughs> And then Shiloh just got a friend. That's right. Shiloh, if you're out there. <laughs> um, I don't have a baseball team. Nope. I don't have a basketball team. Or a yeah, football I team, care. really. I need a football mm. team. Not at all of us are created equal. <laughs> Sing me a song about fish. Um, I haven't wrote one yet. <laughs> if I ever come up with one, I'll do it on your live show. And you can your, your live thing still there, but... catch bigger fish than you two. <laughs> oh, Ricky's gosh. throwing out challenges. Man. 
All right, Ricky. We were trying to make this a fun show, and Chris, here we go. Chris is fired up. Because <laughs> he's bow. Okay. All right, Ricky. Here we go. <laughs> this is probably stupid. This is a year. This is a 165 game bet. Okay. <clears throat> if the Yankees, let's see, we're gonna make this a three tier bet. Okay. If the Yankees, uh. Place higher in regular season than the Red Sox, I'll wear a Yankees hat on one of the broadcasts. If the Yankees win the ALDS, I'll wear a Yankees hat and a Yankees jersey. If the Yankees win the World Series, I will shave my beard, wear a Yankees hat, wear a Yankees jersey. Okay. <laughs> If you're willing to do the exact same thing, going the other way. And we Chris is a anytime. man of his word. <laughs> Ask Shiloh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we got some... And we're going to go fishing sometime. Okay. So who out there, what's your uh, favorite baseball team? Mine would have been, like, back in the day, it was uh, the Royals because of Bo Jackson. And then I was kind of like an athletics fan back when Jose Caseco pre-steroid. Right. Well, right. maybe it was the same time, but uh, we will, Ricky. Hold on. Uh, we're going <laughs> to – I don't know if we can allow this on the show um, right now. Uh, should we bring him in? Let's bring him in. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky. This is the first time we've done this. Uh, this is this might be adding, Oops. adding, adding. Let's see what happens here. If uh, we lose, if we go down to three viewers, um, we're not talking baseball ever again. <laughs> I don't know what we're adding. Um, two plus two, two plus one. Is it? He did. Oh, oh our invitation. Maybe something wasn't working. His uh, Wi-Fi can be spotty in his house. I gotcha. Um, that or... Uh, I don't know. Uh, so... So, Ricky. Uh, you're out there. <laughs> can anyone hear Hello. me? Ricky? So, uh... just disappeared like the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's change the subject. Favorite. I thought you like, so you liked the Royals, and then you liked the... Yeah, and then a couple summers ago, I was kind of watching the Royals, just because that yeah. was the only thing on TV when I was working out of town. But, yeah, I just kind of lost. I don't, it's too many games for me to keep track of. Yeah, yeah. You could just try it over. <laughs> <laughs> so, hometown guy, Alex Gordon. Okay. He retired. So he retired. Yeah. I did hear that. Yeah. And I think he was at one of the Creighton games as a guest. Yeah. Recently, yeah. so. Yeah. I got to see him and uh, Jabba Chamberlain when they were both. Um, on rehab stints with their respective teams. They, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, they put Java in to pitch to Alex. Um, yeah, that was, that was more for the crowd than for anything. Java struck him out. And then the crowd wasn't so happy about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So, so is the uh, Storm Chasers starting back up this year? I I would bet they are. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do something there too. Yeah, Just yeah. everybody go out and hang out. Yeah. So, yeah. It's been a while since I've been to a baseball game. I mean, I like baseball, but yeah, just the amount of games. It's like hockey. The amount of games, like, I don't care until towards the end. And yeah, well, I don't know. I just got to get invested in one. But I don't really have regular TV, so I don't watch it too often. Right. But. Is that Nebraska, Nebraska Coke over there? Yes, national championship Coke. Huh. 
Do you want those? Because I just move them around in here constantly. I don't want them. Uh, if uh, the Yankees win, Chris will drink one of those. <laughs> I don't even know what national championship year that was, uh, that six pack, but I'm pretty sure it's. Um, it might even have the cocaine in it still. <laughs> It's been that long, Nebraska. <laughs> yes, that it's long, Nebraska. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Nebraska. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it had one. Take the one. stickers off my truck. <laughs> <laughs> I replaced it with cool stuff. I can even do the fake whistle, but whatever. That's what, yeah, that's on my truck now. It's on my truck, too. It is. Yeah, and we caught fish soon after we put them on so right. if that tells you anything we got big fish did uh ricky does ricky have one of those no huh no but so you, you're ricky but he wears yankee stuff <laughs> <laughs> got him they're just just as good <laughs> uh, yeah it's all good joke yeah. Yeah. all right so what uh oh, we're talking about. Look, what happened, Ricky? We're talking about the Yankees. We had seven viewers. Now we have four. Five. Five. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> what else has been going on? <laughs> but this is the first time we've uh, aired from our channel, too. And it's been hey. like three or four weeks since we've been on. So That's right. This is a good sign, actually. I didn't even think about that. It is a good sign. Yeah, and I wasn't able to share it to the grind, <laughs> grindstone page. Oh man, oh, that's been a that's been a minute. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, it, those guys are getting ready to be getting in the Doctor the Rock Hall of Fame. It's been so long. <laughs> I think they're close to uh, you know, achieving. Yeah. I think I'm the original member. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, we did have one kick-ass song. Well, we had six, but we recorded one. And it was good. It was so good that it does not want to leave the CD player in my wife's old car. <laughs> if anybody wants the song, I could send you a link to download it, or I can send you the actual download. Okay, we got a YouTube video thing. Uh, is this a fishing song, Keith, <laughs> that you just did for us? Or is it the, uh, what is that, uh, Nitty Gritty Dirt Man? But you and me go fishing in the dark. That's right. Yeah. So we expect that you guys to donate. <laughs> so, we, so we can cover the royalties of just playing that. That's right. <laughs> Don't worry. Because I'm pretty, gonna, uh, we I'm pretty sure, here. like, the, the people that are in charge of the royalty thing, the way we just hit those notes, <laughs> it just registered on their page. Like, yeah. Hey, 15 cents. <laughs> you owe us. You know how much the artist is going to get? Whatever, sh whatever shaving we get off the penny when it falls against <laughs> the ground. That's right. That's a whole yeah. other story. For that is a whole other story. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Remind people who, who are. Who we are. Guests I'm are. Jeremy. I'm Chris. <laughs> And I'm um, Real Custom Art. If you haven't checked out my page, Instagram, YouTube. And I'm just the neighbor guy. Keeping it real. <laughs> Keeping it real. It's real. I, I gotta get used to real. saying that. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Because that's what your real should sound like. He has a Shimano. That's what it is. Oh. Yeah. Keep it. <laughs> oh, uh, not a. <laughs> Because if you sound like that, oh, oh, there. something's at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> like my pole today. <laughs> that's a, that's one of my biggest fears. It's like, <laughs> yes. I don't even have a, a good story to go with it. Like I tripped and oh, I, I'm old. <laughs> Uh, we lost Chris. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thursday is my birthday. Speaking of being old. Happy birthday, Chris. 
You know, this guy used to go to Red Robin with me on my birthday every year. I still. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I've put points on your card when they have gone. <laughs> like your phone number? I don't know. But, anyways, it's been so long, those points fell off. I don't know if that's true. I don't even remember what my phone number is for my red rubber. Yeah, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> wi Fi fixed. Okay. As he walks in through the door. <laughs> Sorry, I connected Jeremy, so it works fine. <laughs> Outside the door, wait to keep me. <laughs> Red Robin. Josh. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, maybe we should go to Red uh, Robin this week. Maybe. Maybe. What's up, Tim? It's been a minute. Long man. Yeah. Yeah. So this is awesome. We we are getting to people. Yes, uh, we enough to where they leave because they get irritated. <laughs> 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 no. So who do we have? We have somebody that's going to talk about barbecuing. Okay. Yep. Barbecuing and the Memorial <laughs> Miller Memorial Golf Tournament. Okay. So we got that, Sean. Whenever you're healthy and not hobbling or whatever else you got going on. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll plan in between your surgeries that you have every week. Um, <laughs> Rob, this should have been funny, but it was. It was hilarious. Oh, I Kids, get, <laughs> don't get old. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Three times. Okay, that's it. Sorry, Sean. Sorry, Sean. I owe you, I owe you a fishing lure right now. <laughs> more giveaway stuff, or more money I don't have. What? That's right. Fishing lure for everybody. Raining. Just joke. Well, there's only four of us. Raining jigs. I might be over there. What was that? <laughs> I think this one's probably still my phone connected over there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we got uh, my buddy Jason uh, just opened up his tattoo oh, that's shop. Right, that's right. They had a ten dollar piercing, and it went nuts. Two days lying around the building. So I think they're doing specials uh, piercings. Uh, they're twenty bucks now, and his brother Josh is doing that. I got I used to work with them too. Great guys. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll uh, pop in a shop and do a live there if they let us. Ooh, uh, yeah. I think that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. I will contact him, and uh, we'll see if we get that set up. He can and bug the crap out of his clients. What are you getting? What are so you getting? His last shot, uh, they had a thing where you pay so much for the tattoo, but it was a candy machine. Oh! And you open it, and you, you know, take the thing out, and whatever uh, the item is, that's what you're getting tattooed. So, Man! It, it's pretty cool. They used to do videos of that when he worked at his other shop, and I uh, hope they keep that going. Uh, and then if you didn't like it, you paid like another 20 or 10 bucks or whatever it was, and you got to spend again. But they had like Halloween themed stuff in there and things like that, that constantly. Cool. So I don't know, maybe uh, Chris will get a tattoo on the, on his earlobe. Oh! I don't know. I just. I don't even know why you came with that bug. <laughs> Anyways, then we got Katie with Game of Parks. That's right. That's right. We got Katie from Game of Parks. Uh, from P Ponca. Uh, Where that event is. Yes. Yeah. Um, we got uh, my wife's friend, uh, our friend, family, her, oh, her friend, uh, Trish. Uh, she just came out with her second book uh, a couple months ago now. It's available on Amazon. Uh, she's got two of them out. Um, it's a... Uh, um, geez, John and Blank, what the names are. <laughs> I'm, 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 a, I'm a horrible friend. <laughs> but uh, it's about uh, ghost towns and stuff in uh, Nebraska. She goes around the old farms and takes pictures, and she documents it all, and it's really cool. Uh, she, she's also uh, writes articles for different. You know what? I'm going to let her tell everything. So we're, we're going to have her on. Uh, she could probably say or tell her story better than I can because yep. I'm not her, but I should know the name of the books. It's I, it's there. I know what it is, but I can't piece it together. God, I suck. And then but, your uh, YouTube 
slash comedian. Yes. Um, Christian guy. Yeah. I tried getting him to join me on Instagram a couple times, but he's been busy, so uh, eventually. we'll see what we can get going on there. If not, maybe we'll record it, and then we'll put it on the YouTube video or something, and maybe we'll just do a little Q&A session with him, and kind of like podcast style or something, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah. And apparently we're going to have Ricky, because he's just going to get on here somehow. Well, uh, Ricky, uh, if he starts winning some uh, fishing tournaments around the local area and gets some buzz going, we'll have him on. <laughs> Don't you mess with Chris the whole time. That doesn't sound like fun. That doesn't make me want to have you join. <laughs> Are you trying to get on the show or like hitting the block list? <laughs> Look, Ricky, I don't have much. Give me this. All right. Actually, I have a lot. I caught a huge fish. And the only reason. <laughs> Like I said, the, I knew Jeremy was coming. I, I could hear him. And I was like, I'm going to put this back in the lake because I don't want to embarrass Ricky, who in two days is going to catch a six-pounder. And then he's going to be smiling with it like he's a four-year-old kid. <laughs> wow, this show like really took a turn. Yeah. Today, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Maybe uh, Chris I'm a little Rick. cranky. Chris and Ricky will have their own show next week. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called uh, Was Keeping It Real Until We Got Into a Fist Fight. And used my spot. Uh, I used your spot. Yes. Uh, where he caught the fish? No. That was not his that spot. That was my spot. But I did use your spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I caught a lot of fish from your spot. Where was his but spot. is it in Prairie Queen? No, no. It's a a lake that doesn't get a lot of sun. <laughs> Wait, like it's in the shadows or something? <laughs> you kind of need <laughs> light to cast the shadows. So that was probably me. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Tyler caught a decent three pounder with a. Uh, Chicken breast soaked in Kool Aid. That's nothing to, yeah, three And I caught nice fish. Uh, a fish on my brother's new rod and reel for the first time before he did because he's like, I'm not catching anything. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm like, here, let me try. Let me see if something's going on. And hooked him a fish first cast. <laughs> but congrats to Jake. He got his this week. Ah, uh, nice. And he's probably not watching anymore because <laughs> we're talking about six pound fish and then he got in the head and left. <laughs> I almost left too, Jake. Don't worry about it. Because I've not caught a six pound fish yet. But, in all seriousness, Ricky, your fish was gorgeous. That was a beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah. Not as beautiful as mine, but it was beautiful. <laughs> I just can't stop. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> no, but it's serious. Ricky, good luck. <laughs> good luck uh, on your tournaments, man. I hope you kill them. I really, really do. Keep us, send us pictures while you're doing it so we can throw them up on the Facebook page as, you know, our number one, well, one of our top fans um, picks. All right, we like, we like, we asked for some pictures and Katie sent us two almost immediately of her tournament when she was, you know, down in Florida. So Ricky, put some, get us some pictures of your, of your tournament fish so we can throw them up on the page. Yes, Ricky, I, I would. Um, I actually have a couple other people uh, sponsoring me in uh, a tournament coming up in, uh, what do you say, June or July. He got two hoodies from me, and he's going to get two more for uh, two other friends of his. Uh, they're actually from Springfield, and I don't know them. Uh, he said the last name Yost, but it's a husband and a wife uh, combo. They're going to—they're doing a tournament as well, so he wants to get them shirts as well. And then nice. 
I'm doing 74 lures right now for a uh, guide service up in North yeah, Dakota. So right. things Jeff are happening. Jeff was at the big time. Things so you are, you are going to sponsor Ricky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, I let him paint his own lures. That's questionable. <laughs> Just joking, Ricky. <laughs> Um, but I yeah, yeah, yeah. do, I do have one of his, uh, custom painted ones that he did. Oh, and it's, uh, It'll be out there for the world to see. I just need to put some hooks on it. Oh, hey. Whoop out. I'm going to put a tail on that. Not really. I can't if you want me to. All right. So Chris's lure. It was so dramatic for. He got one of these from me, right? The Six Cents Crush 50X in the Shack Burst. And I had the same one. He caught five fish that day? Yeah. Five fish that day, even though I got out there a little late. He catches five fish with this lure. The same one I got. I had it tied to mine, fish in its sand speed but he had a secret <laughs> i was not aware of <laughs> he put some tail on it <laughs> so what did i do mm -hmm. i had two more of these i said chris give me some tail <laughs> <laughs> you sure did drop them off yeah yeah so now jeremy's got one and so i got some tail you <laughs> got some tail i gave him some tail the French tickler. My <laughs> no. It is me, Blind Pierre. <laughs> this is a kid's show. <laughs> no, it's not. Anyways. Yeah. So uh, we're going to have to put this to use sometime this week. Oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. that's going to happen. And I'm going to get a seven pounder. Just because. And then Ricky and I are going to look like. Because baseball sucks. Yeah. <laughs> This is, you know what? This is probably my favorite. <laughs> this is my, this is my, my favorite, favorite show we've done so far. <laughs> I know. You don't know, right. know what time it is, and I'm starving. So. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Check out. <laughs> I, I want you guys all doing that this week. When you're at work, guys, gosh darn it. If you're just sitting there in an office, you know, cubicle, like, it's just quiet. You get off the phone, you're feeling good, you go, BOW! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> hey, it's challenge time. Record yourself doing it and send it to us. <laughs> yes. yes. And uh, post it to our uh, our pages. Uh, just yep. fill our board up with that. <laughs> yes. Just BOW! It's just the most random thing. <laughs> TikTok, whatever. Just get it to us one way or another. TikTok, Instagram. We just want to hear that. Wow! Oh! Like, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway again. Oh my gosh, it's giveaways. Out I'm going to give a lure away to whoever wow, the best or keeps it real. Real. Uh, <laughs> God, let's get it. Let's, yes, get it yes, yes, let's yes, do it. Yes. yes. Hey. Like Chris would be at Casey's, you know, and somebody's going to get pizza. He's going to bow and they're going to drop pizza. <laughs> And they're gonna drop it, and then he's gonna go clean it up. It's gonna be awesome. I'm ready for this. Who knows? Maybe you just <laughs> just go into Casey's Plasma when he's working on the highway. Grab a raspberry flip <laughs> and just smash it on the ground. No, yeah, maybe we're kidding. Maybe we're kidding. But no, I seriously, do that. <laughs> if you do that, you get two lures. <laughs> Gosh, this is fun. <laughs> no, well, it's getting expensive, but <laughs> the show's getting expensive. The show's but getting expensive. This, this is what we do for content. We keep four people entertained. <laughs> and we give stuff away. That's right. Yeah. So I'm going to put this on YouTube and watch it later. And I'm going to be like, this is what you want. I missed, wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our, our views have gone down since you threatened me with violence through the back door. And another reason why we keep the door shut even when it's nice out. Right. Um, yeah. So. 
Hmm. It, do you guys want more it violence just on got the real. It just got real, ladies and gentlemen. Real. <laughs> Depending on what kind you got. That's what it could sound like. Um, if it's like real, then you need to oil it. But um and if it sounds like like, like this chair. <laughs> if it sounds like bloop bloop, then you need to get the scuba gear out. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, uh, if you could go to Louisville this week and uh, put some large treble hooks on, <laughs> just cast and cast and cast and cast until you get it. Yeah, that'd be great. Let me know. Actually, um, if you have an idea of where it's at, I want to know right where it's at. I have to go get it. <laughs> it's you know the you know where I caught that fish that was bigger than Ricky's. It's right off the edge of that. <laughs> I almost spit water. <laughs> 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 Woo! Man, I was calling the truth. I was ready to just drop it, Ricky. But maybe you make some four pounder comment. Bring me back out of retirement. I think he was probably talking about me. <laughs> it was, was 3.8, and I like, oh. <laughs> uh, I was just making a selfie on it. Yeah, well, what did he say? He'll come out and get it. He just wants to know where you caught it, so he can catch it after it fed for a couple days. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chris? It's a six and a half now. <laughs> Not well, four anymore. Uh, Ricky's defense. His fish was more than six pounds. It was like 6.32 or something. Yeah, but you couldn't see the bottom of the scale, so they probably just tug it on the fish's tail. <laughs> just joking. I can't talk. My biggest fish is like almost five pounds, I think. Uh, one of those that I still caught last it, year. So I think that scale is not right. That's why I don't use it. And it's sitting up there. I'll give away the scale. That doesn't read out. <laughs> so whoever catches the biggest fish. Give it to Ricky. Oh. I just felt the air escape the room. Ricky and I have to go fishing. We have to go fishing. You can come. Sounds like somebody will be swimming, but. Well, you can come and learn how it, and see what it's like to catch big fish. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, bro. <laughs> Let's go fishing. <laughs> I just lost my show. <laughs> okay, if you guys want to join me next Saturday at 7 o'clock on Keeping It Realer. <laughs> I'm on a date earlier than Jeremy. <laughs> oh, so you get to use the her? Because <laughs> you got a bigger fish? Keep rubbing it in. Rub it in. Wheeler. <laughs> Guess who can't catch a big fish now? <laughs> That's right. I still got um a lot of rock. Yes, Ooh. you have a lot. You could literally stand on the top and throw them. But you know what I need? I need a Shimano SLX. <laughs> Jake, if you're watching. <laughs> Uh, if you want to contribute to a giveaway that I'm not going to give away, <laughs> I do have an empty bait casting area. Or rod. Oh, anyways. All right, kids. Yeah, I got to use the restroom. We are at our hour. Dot 06. <laughs> That's real uh, over time. Oh, yeah, we don't get paid for this. <laughs> now we do. <laughs> yeah. And oh. Uh, That's right. On a serious note, we'll be back. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you for sticking around uh, through all the stuff. <coughs> Very much so. And uh, let's get out fishing and doing other stuff outdoors cleaning up eggs. Yeah. Mowing yeah. the lawn, my lawn, please. And have a good week. Bow! <laughs> Bye! Peace out. <laughs>